Hey, it has been a while. Um, yeah, a few things uh, happened, and I can uh, did some small upgrades to the machine. And um, this was the most exciting. It's uh, the tests I'm gonna be doing using uh, this a crane scale, one ton. Um, I think one ton is a bit too much, but um, I was thinking that the home scale um, might be not enough and too fragile to test this thing. So I borrowed that thing from my friend, and now uh, I show you how it looks. So it's in an excellent box with uh, some foam. Here it is. And uh, yeah, it looks like this. Battery operated, I believe. Uh, precision half a kilo. Which is pretty good. So we will be testing uh, using that scale, and we're gonna be testing uh, the steppers. So NEMA twenty three around one hundred twenty OZ uh, on that axis, and uh, NEMA twenty four uh, Z axis. Um, NEMA twenty four it's around two hundred something OZ. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll try to put some uh, details in the description, and uh, yeah, so let's do testing. But before we're gonna do the testing, I want to take uh, your bets. How much is NEMA 23 and NEMA 24? Um, I was guesstimating it uh, on, uh, I think, 70, 80 kilograms for NEMA 23 and around 150 for NEMA 24. So leave your bets in the comments below, stop the video, put your numbers, let's have some fun. <laughs> Okay, we have some preload. It's holding ninety one kilograms. I wouldn't, I wasn't expecting that much. Something is giving up slowly. 103 Whoops Five is the limit, which I think it's pretty good. Let's go. Okay, I think we can call it 216 kilograms. Not too bad. 
you've seen the test um, and I'm wondering if your guesstimation was there or you, you, you were surprised. I was surprised a bit actually with the especially the Z axis. Um, it's completely unnecessary to have <coughs> 200 something kilograms on your uh, you know uh, drill bit. Um, the test um, you could do it two ways. Uh, one way it's uh, as we did, just test it, or mathematical way, which I freaking hate uh, because in theory you could use the you know the force of the stepper, the pitch five millimeter screw, you know, and you could in theory calculate that thing, but. Uh, when you calculate something like that, you might make a mistake with the zero in the wrong place, or um, you don't gonna incorporate all of the unknowns into the calculation. And then the other thing is that you don't really that's driving a stepper. It's not that simple because the length of the cable, um, then um, the how you drive the stepper, how many micro steps you're using, so which stepper driver, and so on and so forth. And your calculation could be completely off, uh, quite dramatically. Uh, so in my world, it's just faster uh, to measure it. Uh, so I did, um, and I'm kind of hoping you like that video. It gives you some uh, idea what kind of steppers do you need to use. And um, I want to make another video about um, breaking point of the drill bits so it will be the next one and I'm gonna be using the same scale and I'm gonna I think I'm gonna be ratcheting it uh, and seeing at which point the drill bit breaks so I will go from like small drill bits to I think six millimeter thick because anything beyond that it's unbreakable really um, I would think, but we'll see. So, stay tuned, see you next time.